Hey guys, um, Jalen, I uh, just wanted to ask you, first of all, you guys are preparing for two different quarterbacks, two different styles. What has that been like in practice and, and what do you see out of the two different guys? Um, so with the Eastern Michigan guy, he's more of a thrower. So uh, he's a really good quarterback. He can read and make make the throws and make everything on the field. So we just got to cover up and make sure we know our assignments. And with the other guy, I feel like he's more of a runner. But, you know, I was saying, like, we haven't seen him since last season in film, so we don't know if he's was going to throw it or run it. We don't know the game plans for him. But I know Coach Odom putting a great, you know, great scheme for us. So we'll be ready for both when the game comes. And they don't return their leading receiver from last year, but I think maybe the next few wide receivers, including both tight ends. Uh, what, do you, what do you see from those guys, uh, the wide receiving crew and tight ends? Uh, they got some solid wide receivers. They got one little uh, fast wide receiver that could run. Uh, they got a couple more that are good uh, possession catchers and a couple that can run and go make some plays downfield. So, like I said, we just got to follow the game plan, be able to cover up, study how they run their routes and, you know, what's their tendencies when they do run these routes and just cover up and make plays. That's what it all comes down to. Tom? Hey, guys, I want to ask you both this. Um, this is the first time Arkansas has played a ranked opponent in a season opener, and they're also ranked since uh, 1980. So there's a big opportunity for you with a big crowd. KJ, just what do you think of maybe the setting for this game and uh, the opportunity that awaits you guys? I mean, we look forward uh, to the game. Uh, we know it's going to be a competitive game. We know it's going to be fun. The atmosphere is going to be fun and great. Uh, we're looking uh, from a sold-out crowd just like the Texas game was. So, I mean, we just all just hype and uh, just anxious to get out there in the stadium and just play against another team. And Jalen, if you could address that, please, too. Uh, like KJ says, an exciting time. You know, first game of the year, gets a ranked opponent, opponent, a worthy ranked opponent, like Cincinnati with a great coaching staff and great players. But like I said, we grind for this moment since the offseason started, and we have had great leadership on the team, and we've had uh, a lot of good practices put together from fall camp to Cincinnati practice this week. So we just got to keep the string going along. And like I said, when September 3rd comes around, we'll be ready to go. And what do you think about starting against such a hyped opponent, Jalen? Uh, I would say I love it. I mean, because the attention is going to be on us and everybody's going to be watching. Like you said, a sold out crowd and there's going to be millions of people watching um, from, you know, their home and their uh, their house. So, like I said, it doesn't get any better than that. Uh, KJ, they uh, released the team captains today. Bo both of you guys are on there for the second year in a row. I mean, I know it's got to even, you know, still feel pretty special that your teammates chose you that way. Could you address that, KJ? Uh, it's a real big deal here at the University of Arkansas, and just to uh, gain the trust and uh, from my teammates and the confidence from my teammates to even vote me captain and to actually become a second-time captain here at the University of Arkansas is an extremely big deal. Um, I take pride in it. I don't take it lightly, and um, I just thank those guys, my teammates. And, Jalen, your thoughts on being a second-time captain as well? Uh, it's a blessing for sure. To know that my teammates think of me that way, of being their, their captain is an honor. You know, there's a lot of guys that we could have named as captain, but just to be chosen as one is definitely an honor and something that I remember for the rest of my life. So, um, and like I said, now we got the captain situation figured out. You know, now it's time to play football. Coach? KJ, I'm curious what you make of uh, the defense Cincinnati has. I know they lost some pieces, but I think they also have a few guys coming back too. Uh, that's still a really good defense. I mean, they do great things uh, up front as far as uh, clogging the run. They also have great DBs on the back end. They can play a lot of different coverages and disguise a lot. So just being able to come out, uh, don't hurt ourselves on offense, start fast, and uh, try to get the tempo rolling as quick as possible. And I think we've talked about this with you before, but having four returning starters on the offensive line, how much comfort does that provide a quarterback? A lot just to have a veteran uh, group of guys up front that knows that knows football. I mean, in this day, we've seen all type of looks and different fronts. So nothing that uh, catch those guys by surprise. So just being able to have a, a confident and a veteran group up front like I have is just, I mean, it just give me all the confidence in the world and the running backs and the receivers as well to me, be able to make plays. Bob? Hey, KJ, kind of following up on that, I mean, what have you seen from the offensive line in camp and Luke Jones will be a new starter? What, what, what do you, how do you feel like he's fitting in with that, that group? 
Uh, the main thing up, uh, up front, I mean, those guys are doing a really good job of communicating. That's the big uh, emphasis that we was focusing on this uh, fall camp. And leading up to September 3rd is being able to communicate uh, when we're tired, focus on the small details, being disciplined when we're tired. So up front, those guys, I mean, they've really honed in and being disciplined, uh, they've taken every, each and every rep serious, seriously, uh, just being able to communicate when they're tired and focus on those small details and end up getting to that next step. And Jalen, I, I know you probably won't take on any of those uh, Cincinnati offensive line. At least I hope, hope they got, could get that far out on you. But they've got all five starters back, and they've got all. I think they've got ninety four starts. Arkansas's line I'm gonna have like a hundred starts. So, um, just wondering, what, how do you think your all's uh, front line, you know, the linemen and backers, will do against that Cincinnati line? And maybe if you've been able to see their line a little bit on film, just what do you think about your all's defense going up against such a veteran line? Yeah, they have a veteran line, uh, really good O line. Um, like I said, they were they're ranked for a reason last year. You know, they protected the quarterback well, gave him time to throw, and so I know we have some um, great stuff put in with Coach Adams, Shear, and Odom all in on um, three a little trio together for the run and for them and everything. So, like I said, just trusting their game, trusting the game plan we have set for us, and being able to go out and execute it and make sure everybody is assignment sound and everybody's just trusting each other. And it's eleven guys doing their one job, like I always like to say. And then their, their coach said today he thinks it's going to be a pretty physical, nasty game. I don't think he meant that in a dirty way. Just it's going to be a real, you know, both teams going at it. Is, what do you guys anticipate from the physical standpoint of it? Uh, I would say the exact same thing. I would say we we want a physical game. We love it because that's what we – I mean, we, we train every single day. We're, we're um, going head on every single day and, I mean, coming at it. And uh, we're going against each other every single day and banging. So when it gets time to the game, I mean, I think we'll be ready for it for sure. So. Like I said, I mean, we're we're excited to be able to play them, and like I said, it's gonna be a nasty game. Let's do it. You, KJ, I know you're you're a pretty physical quarterback. You feel that way too? Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be an elite competition, elite uh, elite game. Uh, we're looking forward to it. I mean, just to be able to just line up and see uh, opposite uh, opposite team. I mean, we've been going against each other for so long and practicing against each other for so long. So I know both teams gonna be hyped to go against uh, one another. So I mean, we're looking forward to it. I mean, just great competition. Got one more. I, I know camp's never easy, I'm sure, but when you're playing a, another ranked team, does that maybe give you guys an extra sense of urgency in camp, or did you feel, you know, there was a little extra urgency in camp this year? Uh, just starting off, I mean, we the main thing was we wanted to focus on ourselves first, uh, knock out some wrinkles, uh, get uh, correct some mistakes that we had from last season, get, uh, get on the right track uh, with that, and then, I mean, Going into uh, the middle of fall camp, then that's when we start to hone in and really understand, like, this is a big game. It's the season opener. Uh, we're both ranked. So the competition is going to be there. The atmosphere is going to be there. Everything works in our favor that comes into our uh, stadium. So just being able to come out, have fun, and compete at a very high level and start fast. Scotty. Okay. I think you muted. I don't even add it. No, I'm sorry, Scotty. Still can't hear you. <laughs> Trey, you want to keep going? He's just quiet. He wasn't muted. Um, so I was curious about um, Sam Pittman and like how he's talked to you guys, like after scrimmages, after practice and stuff. Like, what what's kind of the message and and the move from him about um, I don't just about how to handle yourselves this week going into this game. Uh, have them have the same mindset every single week, just to be one and zero, and go attack the week. So whoever we're playing, that's who we're that's who we're focused on. And it's Cincinnati this week, so that's who we're focused on. And nothing, nothing more, nothing less than that. So, uh, like I say, it's a uh, we know it's gonna be a great environment. He's told us that he's put in situations to you know handle crowd noise and you know as a defense and and be able to start fast. That's what I say, start fast on both sides, whether the offense on the field on the first snap or defense on the field for the first snap. We got to start fast. So that's been our focus this point, and I think we've been doing a great job of that on both sides. Your thoughts on that, KJ? Oh, the same like Kat said. I mean, just taking the uh, one week at a time. I mean, we're not looking forward to week six or week nine. I mean, we're looking straight at Cincinnati. I mean, we're taking one week at a time, uh, one day at a time. So just being able to have everybody have that same mindset of just focus on Cincinnati and nobody else. We saw um, Malik uh, Hornsby at wide receiver today. We had, During our open viewing time, we haven't seen him there. Have you guys been continuing to work him there? I know kind of the wide receivers have stepped up and uh, maybe caused less of a need for that. Um, just your thoughts on on the possibility of using Malik in this one. 
Uh, just his athleticism that he brings to the table. I mean, sometimes we might wind him out. Sometimes we just want to get a good look at him, see is he comfortable out there or not. So it's all just mainly a test. I mean, just seeing, do he look comfortable out there? Is he comfortable being out there? So today, uh, y'all seen him out there well, wide out. I mean, we're just trying to see, do he look comfortable? Do he feel good out there or not? What are your thoughts on uh, Dominic Johnson? Um, I mean, he looks like he's moving around pretty well right now. Uh, Dominique, uh, I mean, just he's 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 grown and uh, matured in uh, I would say a leadership role in their running back room. I mean, all the guys look to him uh, as a leader. Uh, I mean, he comes in. Um, I mean, he's attacked his training, uh, his rehab. He's attacked it. I mean, he's came back. He's been in individual drills. He's been on the sideline, coaching some guys up uh, for his protection wise and what he see from the sideline and what they can do better for his protection wise stuff like that. So. Just being able to have a guy like Dominique, even when he's not out there, his presence is still felt. So just being able to have him back uh, on the sideline with us and knowing that he'll be out there soon. Thanks, fellas. Bob, you want to step in as Scotty's proxy? Yeah, I think one of Scotty's dogs messed up a zoo. I'm not sure. But uh, he would like to know uh, about Dalton Wagner's importance to the team you know, on the field and also behind the scenes, if you guys could both take that one. Uh, just his leadership and knowledge of the game. I mean, he's been here for quite some time now. Uh, so he's seen a lot. He's been through a lot. So just being able to go to him when uh, you're going through adversity or facing tough struggles even off the field. I mean, Dalton is a guy that you can always call on. He always come and help you anytime, anytime that you need help. So just being able to have a guy like Dalton on our team that we can go to him on the field and off the field and just being able to be just a genuine guy that he is. And from my standpoint, seeing him work at the old line, see him making calls, making checks, and him and KJ coming back there on pressures and everything, I mean, it doesn't get any better. And then off the field, he's making sure his old line is right. And um, he's a good leader off the field, too, by keeping those guys engaged and having great relationships with the old line. So, I um, mean, he does the whole package for the old line. And, you know, like I said, people like Ricky Stromberg as well as one of those guys. But Wagner definitely sticks out as, that, as a leader of the old line. Okay. Thanks, guys. All right, Tom, close this out, please. Yeah, same question about Bumper, uh, Jalen. Just your thoughts about being captain and with uh, Bumper and what he means. Uh, it means a lot to have Bumper. I mean, I've said it, like, so many times, and I always want to – I mean, I'm going to stand on it that, like, having him at the, uh, the linebacker room and ha having him run things at, in that room and run things on the field as far as the box, I mean, it doesn't get any better to know that you have someone that you can trust and know that they're going to do their assignments and they're going to bring that juice and leadership every single day. So having a guy like Bump lead this, um, that front seven, I mean, like I said, it don't get no better than that. I'm glad he's back for one more year with us. And like I said, I'm excited to play with him again along with my other brothers. Guys, I'm hearing a lot of people speculating this might be an atmosphere like the Texas game. Um, what was it like playing in front of that bigger crowd? And uh, would you like to see that kind of reenacted? <clears throat> I mean, it was just electric. I mean, just looking forward to it. I mean, we knew it was a big rivalry game. So just coming out there and just seeing the uh, crowd and try to keep the crowd engaged throughout the whole game. Because, I mean, they give us uh, juice and we just feed off it. So it's very contagious to go in and have a sold-out crowd and an elite atmosphere. Like he said, it's going to be elite atmosphere. It's something you dream of as a kid to be able to play in atmospheres like this. You know, it's going to be something great for everybody to see. And it's going to be a physical matchup between us and Cincinnati. And like I said, September 3rd, when that ball set down, I know both teams be ready to go, and I know our squads are ready to go, so just ready to get it on. Gotcha. Hey, last question. KJ, we've seen Hazelwood out there the last couple of days. You think he's going to be fit, ready to go for you guys, and how much will he add? Uh, yes. I mean, we're still taking it day by day. We don't want to rush him back too fast. Uh, we want to play it safe and play it smart with him, but he's in good spirits, and uh, we're all in good spirits for him, and hopefully he'll get back and play ball. Okay, thanks. Yeah, KJ, appreciate your time as always.